This is the third screencast in how to draw a two-scale badminton court. In the last screencast we got as far as having all the dimensions of the court in place and we then grouped all of the images so that it was one single image. I was about to show how to resize it, um, which I'm going to do here. Now normally when you resize objects you click on one of these little handles on the edges of the size and you drag it, but if you did that you would actually distort the image. So what we need to do is under the format ribbon on the right hand side we're going to go to this little arrow next to where it says size and it will bring up this box here. Uh, alternately you could have right clicked and you could have done size and position and it would have brought up the same box. Uh, the key thing here is where it says lock aspect ratio I need to make sure that that is ticked. That means that when we resize it uh, it will keep its uh, the proportions uh, correct. It won't sort of squash it in one direction or the other. Now you could resize it here by changing these numbers, but once I've got that ticked, I should be able to uh, click on a corner and then I can just drag it uh, with my mouse. Okay, it's important you go for a corner. If you go for one of the edges, it would squash the court up like that. So I'll just undo. So once you've ticked that box to uh, lock the aspect ratio, you can then just drag it by corner. So you can make it whatever size you want uh, for whichever page you're working on. If you wanted to uh, change the colours of this once you've created it, it's very easy. Uh, you just select the item. You can then go to Format and then go shape outline and you can change it. So let's say you wanted red lines uh, or if you were going to have it on say a dark green background you can change it to yellow or white uh, up there for example. So you can change the colours of the lines very very easy uh, in one go. I'll just put them to a sort of a dark blue uh, here. Um, the fact that the shapes are trans uh, have no fill it means that if you do have any information behind it it will just sit on top of that information um, uh, quite nicely. And that's the end of how to draw a badminton court. In the next series, I will show you how to draw a, a netball court which has uh, circular elements such as the semicircle um, for the, uh, the shooting area.